Conservatives in the state legislature have passed a $109 million cut to transit in Minnesota. The governor vetoed that bill, but since the budget is still uncertain, Metro Transit may still face a significant cut. One of the possibilities for dealing with a cut like that is that all park and rides in the metro area would have to be closed. To give you an idea of what these cuts mean for this region, take this park and ride. It's in the west metro, it's almost three stories tall, and it's almost entirely full. If we closed all of Metro Transit's park and rides, 8,500 cars would be put on our highways every day, congesting the roads and causing more wear and tear. That translates to 85,000 more cars on the roads during peak hours every week. This all goes to show that transit is not just about mobility. It's about our region's economy, it's about our environment, and it's about congestion on our roads and highways. It's about employers getting employees where they need to be, it's about sports fans getting to the game, and it's about moving everybody in the Twin Cities in a more efficient way.